Well, guys, it's uh, Philippine Forex, but I'll run the ticker today, but everything's going to be about what did it cost us for this house, at least to date, unfurnished. The tiles are a contract, the ceiling and the soffits are a contract, and we are done everything else. Uh, we still have to install the kitchen. The ladies are going to currently just use the dirty kitchen. Uh, Ma and her daughter and granddaughter are here this weekend. They're kind of looking things over and seeing what they can do for a longer term picture. Now when I'm saying longer term, you remember Lynn and I said three to five years. So it's not like this thing is going to be a resort overnight. <laughs> Uh, things just need to get established first, right guys? Okay, so let's get into the costs of our build. So cutting to the chase, what did it cost us to do the house only build? Does not include the garage, doesn't include the, the um, fence. It does include the downspouts and all related piping. Uh, so that includes the the uh, catch basin that we put out the front where all the water will go into and it will catch the water from the low area there as a result of the basketball court and then discharge into the ocean. And by the way, we've had approval from the DNR to do that. So that is not an issue because they're, they've confirmed that it is not sewage water that we're putting out there, right? Uh, so the, the final cost on all of that without including the kitchen cabinets okay so qualifying that the kitchen cabinets are going to come later uh, because we have a functioning dirty kitchen and the refrigerator is already bought it will go into the into the house so uh, of course furnishing everybody's going to furnish their house a little bit different so 1.17 million a few centavos here and there but to round it out, um, and this is being generous at 300,000 pesos, um, overruns that, that, you know, Lynn's pretty meticulous with the money, guys. Boy, I'm trying to figure out where there could even be, you know, 20,000 pesos, let alone 300,000. But for your purposes, round it out with an AAC project. Um, where you're taking it to a finish that would be equivalent to a hollow block construction, uh, we still calculated out at 18% cheaper than a hollow block house. Okay, and again, that needs qualifying because when the guys get down to doing a uh, oligarch home, <laughs> then you know, they're going to go down to a nice finish on the outside and a nice finish on the inside. And so that is factored in uh, when we were doing this calculation. And it bears out with what we did on the garage, which actually turned out to be just over 20%. Uh, but again, we didn't include multi layers of putty, uh, which I'm calling putty is the unsanded skim coat. And you will see shortly here a video from Starkin and showing the skim coat that we ultimately should put on here but from Lynn's perspective remember Lynn paid for that house from Lynn's perspective it is done for now maybe next year before we finalize the kitchen we will come back in but I want to ship some tarps some painting tarps from Canada can't find any canvas painting tarps here not at all and I don't want anything leaking through onto the floor, uh, but I also want it to absorb so that it doesn't uh, get on the bottom of somebody's foot and then they just track it all over the house. So there we go. Uh, that's it for this year on this build, guys. That's just how it is. Um, Lynn is ecstatic over how this has all turned out. Um, again, in retrospect, uh, had the family been moving uh, in a direction where we could see this wasn't going to happen. We would never have built a house this big. <laughs> never. And we would have planned out this a little bit differently. But with the staycation idea and the family 
uh, eager to do it and the fact that they actually jumped all over it once we decided that uh, we were going to look at a second piece of property and maybe a you know a six or eight um, studio style uh, apartments that again could be used as staycation or longer term uh, obviously if something is vac vacant at the time you just rent it out for the weekend right take your money and run so that's that's kind of the goal there um, and on that property then we will probably build you know somewhere in the neighborhood of about 25 square meters of living split space place uh, space plus a CR uh, which is what we've got in the garage and Lynn and I are more than comfortable in that and I say that because you know every time we come to the Philippines we've been renting places that are like the last one was 21 square meters and we're more than happy in it uh, because in the Philippines you should be spending much of your day outside even if it's raining you can stay covered uh, covered decks you know that kind of thing that's what's important anyway that's our update on Philippine Forex today including our costing uh, when we get back to Canada not before <laughs> we will break these costs down into what it cost us for the say this the the mega structure which would be the the footings and the pillars and that sort of thing and then what it costs for our roof uh, what it costs for the garage we will break that out uh, we've already done it once before but we will include it in this final wrap-up but that will be sometime in April maybe early May uh, before we get to that um, and in that then I will go change some of the end cards on our build to reflect that you can click forward and see the build um, of course the the update with the final breakdown costs will include some backlinks going backward in our build and I might even use some of those intermediate cards uh, in that particular case just because when we went to Starkin to have a look and we talked to them about uh, Ernest project uh, Ernest actually beat us there that day <laughs> and um, but Clarence is gonna build um, there's uh, two others that are going to build one will probably uh, use uh, light strong the other one no real competitor because they're going to be building on Luzon uh, Batangas I believe and um, so in their particular case it, it doesn't make sense to ship it on a boat and get it up there unless the guys are going to cut a pretty good deal construction wise the Starkin product is a 60 by 20 the Light Strong is a 60 by 30. So you will have a little bit more um, labor involved with the Starkin product and a little bit more adhesive uh, from that respect. Uh, Lynn and I did not break those costs down had we had to add an extra layer of um, Starkin product overall, right? So that would have included probably one more layer all the way around. Is it cheaper than a hollow block build? And the answer is yes with the caveat that you have to build it to completion, right? No hollow block, uh, looking house, no dirt floor, you know, all, obviously all of that kind of thing. A complete finished home. So yeah, I think if you guys use the budget of 1.2 million, uh, again, we put a um, Typhoon roof on it. Uh, we did not use any sea purlins. We saw way too much damage on some very executive homes where the, the GI sheets, even though the gutters were there and the wind theoretically shouldn't be able to get up underneath it, it just made those sea purlins look like you were putting it through tinfoil. It just ripped all the screws right out of them. So. Uh, yeah, that was a decision that Lynn made that we were definitely going to be putting on this more expensive full steel Typhoon roof and of course nothing is ever guaranteed if you get hit hard you get hit hard uh, But it was very noticeable in this one particular subdivision that all of those roofs um, You know that that had multiple angles and all of that sort of thing and they're using the sea purlins tinfoil it's just tinfoil guys if you grab it, you can go like this. So how, how sturdier is it really? Even when it's bound together, you know, it's going to add some strength. But then you get that oscillation happening that the 
that the winds will do. Anyway, uh, we did see a few full-on steel structures and they held together. Uh, and the only reason we know that is because the gutters were torn off <laughs> and we could see through that it was all steel. So that was an easy decision for Lynn, although it did cost us a few extra centavos. Okay guys, that's a wrap on our two bathroom, one bedroom, TV room, two deck house on the Daggett with mangroves. Later Gators.